Hi, hello, my name is Than, short for Nathaniel, sorry. Today, the camera angles, the lights, I don't know, something is like different. I need to start like marking tape on the floor or something so I can put my setup exactly how I left it the last time because I'm constantly moving it to like take pictures and film and stuff. So yeah, I need to get that figured out. <laughs> you may have seen that we now have a community page for my channel. <laughs> so I can post, you know, polls, just post about anything, pictures, uh, GIFs. Anyway, so I posted about how I started my new job and I'm still getting used to <laughs> the whole experience. <laughs> so my schedule is not as, you know, I'm, I'm not posting as frequently the past few weeks. It's been like a video a week. I had to like toss a video. So my channel's been a little bit of a mess. <laughs> Um, I've dyed my hair twice since the last video. I bleached it, did like a pink, but those these like front parts did not take. So then I mixed a little bit of purple dye with some conditioner, and this is what happened. So the rest is a little more pinky, the front's a little purpley, it is what it is. It's always a little awkward going to film. If I take like a week in between videos, it's, yeah, it's not the easiest thing, okay? <laughs> But here we are. So today, <laughs> Victoria Beckham has launched a new shade of her Satin Caudal Liners, my favorite formula. And this is the shade C Gray. It's basically um, silver, <laughs> but sure, C Gray, <laughs> nice name. And then um, I'm also gonna be using the new Byredo Metal Boots in the Snow Quint in the Raindrop packaging. It is officially a raindrop design because on the website it says raindrop. Some people say, um, you know, it's like an oyster shell, which I have in the past because it does look like that. And also like a chunk of gold or something. Here's the inside. I've already swatched it. Um, I feel like I put, put it on my eyes a couple times, but you know not analyzed. I say that like every time because I usually can't wait until the video to dive into it, but I was good and took pictures of it before I swatched it and everything. So usually I don't. <laughs> so I got some nice pretty pictures of it untouched. Here's the color story. It's like a couple different greens, more of like a khaki and then there's like a duochrome. Uh, there's a pressed glitter, which is super, super sparkly and it actually is mixed with some sort of adhesive. So it goes on like mess free, really, you know, like it's it's really nice. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I was worried. <laughs> and then this is just like another standard, like metallic. And the middle shade is like a really pretty navy. And there's supposed to be another quad, like that's a little bit more black and white, I believe, or quint, um, but that hasn't been like officially announced. It was just like, I don't know, I saw pictures of it around the time when this one was like leaked or whatever. So hopefully that one comes soon because yeah, I, I love these quints. I also have uh, Corporate Colors, which is amazing. I love this one. And Disco as well, which is like a warm. This is actually a, such a good fall palette. And I've also tried, I think it's called Siren. It's the one with that sort of grungy gold green or like almost like toxic, wasty, yellowy gold green. <laughs> I've tried that one. I think there's like a pink and a periwinkle in it. And I just wasn't crazy about that one. I don't know. And then I haven't tried the one that's like the super saturated metallics. And I think there's a, gl a pressed glitter in that one too, but it's like a pur blue, purple, orange, maybe a green, I don't know. And then I think I'm gonna be using the Jung Se Mool um, Skin Neuter Foundation. I got this forever ago when I got the Masterclass Glow Cushion and I've just been waiting and waiting to review it. And I, I, I barely used this one. I just used it like, what again, <laughs> when I like first got it, I like did a little skin test, you know? So I think the shade's gonna be good. Uh, this comes with um, its own little puff too. So we'll probably use this to apply it. I'm excited. Okay, let's go. <laughs> We're starting. I'm gonna use some of the Jung Se Mool uh, Skin Setting Tone Correcting Base Sika Care. Uh, 
Um, I believe this is the lightest shade. I can't read it, so I'm not sure. Oh, it's just fair. It's just fair. Shade fair. Okay. So the shade looks like. Puff feels pretty nice. I definitely pumped out way too much. I feel like a little bit of this is going a really long way. I mean, it's a little bit a lot on the back of my hand. I'm gonna build it in places with just like a normal beauty sponge with what's left on my hand. And sort of just smooth out. I sort of feel like the puff was just leaving some marks, you know? It's not my favorite puff that I've tried so far. Like it feels nice, but I feel like it didn't apply it the best. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of Terra from M to sculpt. I've pretty much been doing this like every time that I do my makeup now. Except for when I go to work. When I go to work, all I put on are the Jones Road face pencils and like a single shadow over the eyes. And sometimes mascara, sometimes not. For concealer, I'm gonna use the um, Jouer Cosmetics Central High Coverage Concealer Pen in Snow. You can use code PRETTIER on JouerCosmetics.com to save 15% on your entire order. Link will be in the description box. This formula is super creamy, so like, I mean, my, like this one and the navy one, they both came with their tips basically melted off, um, which is fine. I don't really care, you know, whatever. Just sharpen it. Here it is. I probably sharpened it just a little too much, but I'll do a little swipe on the back of my hand. And let me just quickly swatch um, ash next to it. So you can see that ash is much more like black. Here's ash, sea gray. And I do have a review on this liner as well as the navy one too. Um, here, why don't I put the bronze one next to it too? So here's bronze, ash, sea gray. And I have every color except for black. I do really wanna get the black one. So the, the brown one, Coco, that one seems to have the most staying power out of all the ones that I've tried so far. Um, that one sets a little quicker where I feel like the navy one, you get a little bit more playtime and same with really all of them. <laughs> that one I noticed just sets down a lot. So we'll see out of these three, I'll leave them and we'll try to smudge them in a few minutes. We'll see what happens. Um, I guess I'm going to Go in the waterline here a little. Ah! I'm taking the Sonji Pencil Pro and I'm just gonna start smudging this. Is sea gray is a good term. I feel like before I thought it was more silver, but it is like gray. It's like gray silver. Like it's definitely shinier than ash. Ash is just has like a little bit of sparkle. I'm gonna add more sort of across the top. This one seems to be slightly less melty than the navy. The navy really like, you will go through it so quick, I feel. Now let me see how it goes when I smudge it. This is way more than just silver. Like like I said before, it does have that sort of gray depth. So you really could just do like a whole smoky eye just with this shade, I feel. To be honest, I'm liking this way more than I thought I was going to. Like I knew I was gonna love it because I really love all these pencils, but I don't know, it's just, it's really nice. So with the navy and the Bordeaux, the red one, I feel like you really have to use another shade with it 
because the way they like blend out is a little bit patchy, but they are beautiful to use. Like if you want to do a red look, it's such a good base and you just build it up like along the lash line. I mean, they're still beautiful, I love them. <laughs> but I mean, you've probably seen in my videos like demonstrating them, they like when you smudge them out and I guess I could be more careful and strategic about it, but I just feel like with this one, you don't need an additional shade. Like the way it blends out is just a little bit more consistent than the navy. And that might, they might, I might have to do something with the matteness, you know, I don't know. I'm gonna wash my hands so I don't get this liner everywhere, but let's see how these smudge. Okay, so the bronze still has some pull, the ash too, and the silver. So they each, I mean, with some pressure, they still can be manipulated a little more. I feel like the brown, I should have tested the cocoa next to these to, to, to test my theory of it being a little bit harder to blend, but anyways. And I think I say this in every Caudal liner review, but I really don't recommend using this little smudge tip. Maybe like if you're in a pinch, but it's just really firm and I feel like it sort of pulls on the eyes. So I don't really recommend this. Uh, maybe if you were super light handed, but you know, could be, I wish it was a little softer. All right, metal boots in the snow, here we go. Actually, I'm gonna take the Pencil Pro again. I'm just gonna wipe it off a little bit. I'm going into the navy in the center. I think that's okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of this one right here. This is uh, Ground Frost. It's a little bit more like duo, it's like a duochrome, like brown green duochrome, whereas, um, strap is more like a grungy earthy green these do feel slightly harder pressed than the ones in uh the other palettes and i really don't mind it like the other ones they're so creamy that i feel like they can get a little crumbly i mean they still smooth out fine but when these when you run your finger back and forth through these it doesn't get like clumpy so they're a bit, like, I don't know. It's, it's a little bit more elegant. With my finger, I'm going into the metallic-y silver uh, verglass. I'm taking my pinky into the pressed glitter just a little bit, right in the center of the lid. And really, I'm not getting any fallout from this because it has that sort of adhesive built in. It's really nice, super sparkly. And you can't really like blend it. You sort of just have to like tap and press and roll where you want it, you know? It doesn't feel necessarily like super chunky at all. It just, it feels nice. Like it's not very intimidating to use. Do the inner corner just a tiny bit. a tad more of this navy. I just sprayed this brush. I'm gonna go into the duochrome and put more of that. I'm gonna take the white from this tie-dye palette from Hank and Henry. Taking a little bit more of the Jouer Concealer. Gonna set with the Gucci powder. I'm gonna try using this bright pink from the Viseart palette here. And this is the Sonya G Soft Cheek. Now let me use a denser brush. Here's the refer number four.
taking the face one. Just buff it a little. Roman contour powder. I feel like I want just a little bit more sculpting. And just Shakuta angled face brush. I'm trying to choose a lip. Let me try a bit of dance card and see what happens. Yeah, I think dance card is good. You can use the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb and how many carrots? A smidge of the Pat McGrath under eye powder in light, just like a tiny amount. And for my nose, I'm gonna use the Freestyle Duo in Lightning Dust and uh, Fire Crystal, also from Bendy. I don't like to apply the Diamond Bomb to the center because I feel like it does weird shit on my nose. I don't know. <laughs> in fact, I'm gonna add a little bit of this on top too. Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brow Gel in Black Brown. Okay, so I sprayed my face with the MAC Fix Plus, and then I'm gonna use the Lancome Lashy Doll Mascara, and I'm just adding a little bit of Posh Gloss from Victoria Beckham. Okay, so let's zoom in and then we'll go over my final thoughts. <laughs> Um, I'm very happy with this foundation. I really like the way my skin is looking. You know, I added powders, I added extra concealer, everything, and it just looks pretty seamless in person. I mean, I don't know how it's looking on camera yet, obviously, but there's just no heaviness. Um, it just is super comfortable. Looks pretty good on my lip and my chin, on my forehead, it looks great. Metal Boots in the Snow, I feel like, I don't know which one I like more. I feel like Corporate Colors and Metal Boots in the Snow for me are like tied. Um, I like them both more than Disco. I know, unpopular opinion. <laughs> but like a lot of people love that one because it is like richer and a lot of people like warm more than cool, you know? But yeah, I feel like I'm tied between these because they're just very different vibes. Like, like, it's like metal boots in the snow, corporate colors. I feel like this one's just a little bit more casual and this you can really like amp it up for the holidays. <laughs> Hence, it's a holiday release, you know? I mean, this one's definitely a little more unique and it has that pressed glitter in there, which really surprised me. <laughs> I don't know, I was sort of worried and I was like feeling like I would like every shade except for that one. So I was completely wrong and I love the glitter. <laughs> I just can't believe that I don't really have fallout from the glitter. I think I have some sparkly fallout from either the liner or the other metallic shade, but I don't think it's the glitter because they're not that like sp sparkly, you know, more shimmery. Like I have shimmer fallout, not glitter fallout. And I like how where you press them, they just stick right on, you know, it's really nice. And the green is a very elegant duochrome. It's not super shiny and like how maybe like a blitz shade would be from pat you know or an astral shade from pat it's slightly more chic it's not like a scary or intimidating duochrome not that i'm intimidated by them but <laughs> you know i'm just talking about the general public it's just really nice um right away i was this made me think of tom ford 2019 uh soleil neige I mean, similar like snow vibes, winter vibes, because there's the navy. I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. <laughs> you could create similar looks like between these palettes, I feel, except the green and there's not really a taupe in this one. 
So they're different enough to justify both, in my opinion, and completely different textures as well. But you can get a nice similar like holiday look with this quad if you already have it. Um, this liner also surprised me. <laughs> I'm actually really happy with the gray aspect of it and that it's not just a straight up silver because you really can do a complete smoky eye with just this one, similar to how Ash is, to how Coco is. Only thing with this foundation, sorry, sidetrack. <laughs> okay, I am noticing right now, uh, the foundation is bunching quite a bit in my nose crevices. I mean, that wouldn't stop me from wearing the foundation, but just something I'm noting here. Okay, um, this sea gray liner is definitely a hit. Um, if you love the rest of the Kajra liners from her, uh, you're gonna love this one. It's just a really great addition and it's definitely different enough to Ash, in my opinion, that you're gonna really like it. You can't, you just like really can't go wrong <laughs> with these liners. They're all so good. I love every color that I've tried which is all of them except for black, like I keep saying. <laughs> I would love to see a nice like khaki green or olive liner from her. That's definitely coming for sure. I mean, I don't really see how she could get away from doing that. Like, yeah, that, that's definitely coming. Okay, so again, sorry my uploads have been slower. I'm really trying to get back into the groove, but you know, still figuring out the scheduling. <laughs> Um, but thanks for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and ring the bell to so be notified every single time that I upload a new video. Uh, follow my Instagram, prettier than Graham. Uh, follow my newness page so you're notified every single time I'm doing a live stream on there. Uh, all the links will be in the description box below for the products, for my socials. I have another video planned. <laughs> Not sure when I'm going to be filming it. Should be up midweek, I'm thinking, but you know. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Goodbye.